you're thinking about moving to Fort Collins but don't know much about it, in this video, I'm gonna share with you five things you may or may not know about Fort Collins. And where I stand right now is the Cache Laputa River. It runs through the heart of Fort Collins and is a focal point in winter and summer activities. So let's get into the video, starting now. What's up everybody? Just want to say welcome back. And if you're new to the page, I'm Garrett, realtor and partner at the group. And if you want to know all about living in Fort Collins and the surrounding Northern Colorado areas, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell as I try to get out three videos a week to keep you all informed and updated about everything Colorado living. And if you're looking to make a move to Northern Colorado next week or next year, I'd love to help make your transition as smooth as possible. As always, all my contact information is in the description box below. Feel free to shoot me an email as I'd love to chat with you. In today's video, we're gonna go over five things you may or may not know about living in Fort Collins. Let's do it. Number one on the list is downtown Fort Collins. The historical downtown inspired none other than Disneyland's Main Street USA's look. Disneyland's Main Street was envisioned and created by none other than Harper Goff. Harper Goff grew up in Fort Collins as a young kid and lived at 1612 South House Street. When Walt Disney was trying to design the Main Street of Disneyland, he wanted to create a place for families to come and enjoy and walk down the centerpiece of a storybook castle and envision the special Main Street that he gave to his top designer at the time, Harper Goff. And of course, Harper Goff got his inspiration from none other than downtown Fort Collins. Very cool. Let's get into number two. Fort Collins is designated as one of five towns as a platinum level bike friendly community. Of the other five towns, the states that hold those towns is California, Oregon, and Wisconsin. I know what you're thinking right now, but that's only four. That's because Colorado has two cities that are platinum level bike friendly communities. And Fort Collins was ranked number two as the best cycling town in the nation. And while living here, I can definitely tell Fort Collins is a platinum level bike friendly community. The city has designated bike lanes on almost all of the roads throughout Fort Collins. There's stoplights designated just for bikes and intersections that are also created just for bikes. It's absolutely a platinum level bike friendly community. That leads us into number three. Did you know that 70% of all of Colorado's craft beer comes from Fort Collins with 20 plus craft breweries in Fort Collins and USA Today ranking Fort Collins the second best beer scene in the nation? The numbers make sense. If you wanna know more about the breweries in Fort Collins, check out my video of the five reasons why I love living in Fort Collins that definitely made the list. Let's get to number four on the list of things you might or might not have known about Fort Collins. The Cache Laputa River. It runs through the heart of Fort Collins and was nationally designated as Wild and Scenic River and got its unique name from a French Canadian fur trapper in the 1800s when they had to hide their gunpowder due to a raging blizzard, Cache Laputa. And as the locals like to call it, the Poudre River, it's known as one of the West's best trout routes in the nation. So it's a fisherman's paradise. And not to mention, the Poudre River runs side by side with Highway 14 through Fort Collins up to a small mountain town in Walden, Colorado, making it a Colorado scenic and historic byway, thus making it one of Colorado's most premier scenic highways. And number five on the list of things you may or may not have known of living in Fort Collins is that there's an underwater city at Horsetooth Reservoir. Horsetooth Reservoir is about five, 10 minutes from central Fort Collins, just in the foothills. The city of Stout used to reside where Horsetooth Reservoir is now located. Stout was established in a small town in about 1860s as a camp for the workers who ran the nearby stone quarries in the area. The city of Stout was eventually flooded by the Colorado Big Thompson project in the 1940s. So that's gonna wrap up the five things you may have not known about Fort Collins. Of the five, which ones did you find most interesting? Leave me a comment below and let me know. 
And as always, thanks for tuning in. I try to get out three videos a week to keep you all informed and updated about everything Colorado living. Thanks. Mm -hmm.